99X, it's the Morning X, Barnes and Leslie, and it's Judgment Day, Fram. Yeah, we, we need to clear this up so soon. Just to set this up, last week on Twitter, Max from the band Eve 6 put a tweet out that was taking a shot at Elon Musk. And the exact thing that he said, let me find the exact. So what he said yeah, was... Yeah, do you have that? Yeah. He tweeted, quote, another thing that is called X by unimaginative and desperate to seem cool CEOs are 1990s alternative rock radio stations that have all gone under, end quote. And understandably, some of the 99X family, both internally and listeners, got offended by the tweet. Right. And right. we asked the listeners... Should we not be playing this band who continues to get paid when we play their music? And about 97% of the people said yes. Yeah, well, we felt like they were taking a shot at us. And and some people were like, oh, they're just being rock stars and they're just being right. flippant. Mm-hmm. But everyone that, you know, everyone interprets things different ways. The way it was interpreted mm-hmm. was just kind of a wide swipe. And uh, multiple other stations also commented. So if you don't remember or know who the band Eve 6 is, here's a quick little sample so you can know who we're talking about. Listen, a song I've loved forever. And they've yes. been on our show. They've been in our studio. They've played live in our studio and all that. So we have listeners on hold that would like to um, speak up. And more importantly, please welcome Max from Eve 6 to the show. Hey, Max. Wow. Hello, Barnes and Leslie. Um, into the gauntlet we go. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I certainly didn't do myself any favors with that sentence structure. I was, uh, we were flying back from a show. Where did we play last weekend? I don't remember, but I'd gotten like two hours of sleep. Which is which is a good sort of fugue state to be in to do posts that get you in trouble, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, you've gone viral before for making some statements that, you know, all of a sudden a lot of people took notice of. Yeah. And this one just seemed to... This one just didn't feel right. Yeah, no. I Look, I can definitely see how um, it was sort of difficult to maybe parse my meaning here. I think was centered in the critique first and foremost is, of course... Um, the epic genius, um, Elon Musk. And it's really, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a very, it was a very sort of mid critique slash joke about bosses and CEOs. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. more mm-hmm. so than those, uh, you know, folks like you who have been carrying the torch for alternative rock, um, through, you know, seemingly impossible odds, a hero's journey. Um, I, I think, you know, and we're, we're in the trenches with you. If it seems like I'm backtracking here, maybe I am a little bit, but well, hold uh, on, Max, what, one of the things yeah. that was so kind of, I think in the building, a blow is that we just came back and we came back because yeah. we love the music. We, me, Leslie, Steve on the Steve show, Wilp and Darvis, we were all here at those times in the nineties and we all came back because we love it. And that just was like almost like a step backwards, not in the sense that, oh, you were talking about 99X specifically. It just felt like a jab when we're over here working our asses off to try and make this happen. And then to read that from a band that continues to make make money from us, it just seemed weird. Well, and also you guys were part of the family, part of the DNA of 99X. Well... I mean, 99X, you specifically, Leslie, programming the station, right? In, uh, mm-hmm. in 98, um, broke our band. Uh, it was you and Alex Luke, Atlanta and Chicago were the two stations who said, no, we think, we think this song's good and we're going to play it all the time. And, uh, you know, we're, we're a California band, a Los Angeles band. We couldn't get arrested on, on K Rock, our radio station out here. Um, until the song was sort of proven as this, you know, little force of nature, and and it and it got there because of you guys. So look, we feel a tremendous debt of gratitude to you for that and to alternative radio. Like that, that to me doesn't put it put um, you know. FM radio writ large off the table for jokes. I, I I will say I will say that. But again, what I'm 
what what I'm critiquing there isn't aren't the people who work at radio stations and and love alternative rock music. You know, it's the what what's like anything. What's the the the, hu- the humor in it is you know people at 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 the very. It, it's always been sort of funny to me, and I'll and I guess I'll I'll ask you guys because because you know you might have have the answer. Why are there only three names for alternative radio stations? Why is it always only the X, the Edge, or what am I forgetting? I feel like the we're P? getting off topic, Max. I mean, <laughs> you're talking okay. about you're talking about X. Hold on, let, let's do this. Some fans have been waiting, and they're the most important part of this equation. Let's bring some of them on. Uh, hey, morning, X. Good morning. You're on with Max from Eve Six. What's your name? Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie. What's going on? What's on your mind? Hey, I had. I was just wondering, like. Okay, this morning I had a thought. What if the X reference was to Twitter and not us? To Twitter? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To Twitter, yeah. Right. See, well, it was. So that's why I was, I was, that's where I was trying to go with the joke, right? Is but, that, but, okay. but you, it was uh, until you said alternative rock stations <laughs> of the '90s who are all dead Busted. and gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That hurt. Well, that stung. No, I, I know, but I didn't make a judgment in the tweet over whether I, I didn't say it was good that all of those alternative rock stations were gone. I made a joke that that a lot of them are are called X, and that decision probably wasn't made by Barnes or Leslie. It was probably no. made in a, by a guy in a in a boardroom somewhere, right? But you're making but those are the Fair people enough. that's the reason you're getting Stephanie, thank you for calling. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank Stephanie. You. The, those are the guys though that are stroking your check. That was what was so like that was talked about. Like you can make fun of those guys, but then when you tie it in with those other guys. Okay, but those guys aren't doing altruism. All right. There's a you know, the, the guys in the board r- rooms, they don't, they, you know, they, those folks don't have a, have a I hear you. benevolent bone in their bodies. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm comfortable painting with a broad brush here. And, you know, it's this, that this is the same, you know, it's, I think it's fair, fair to draw a line from there um, to, you know, a, a, another, you know, boss and CEO who's been, an, uh, uh, an ever-present grading force in the lives of those of us who are terminally online. Yeah, and uh, and so that that's where I was that's where I was going with the with the tweet that um, admittedly lacked coherence, <laughs> subtlety. Um, yes. Yeah. yeah. Let's get another fan on. Yes, hey, yes. Morning X, you're on morning. with Max from Eve 6. It's his judgment day. Welcome to it, jury. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if we've established at this point if the whole point was to attack 99X, but what I wanted to say was I'm not even from Georgia. So when 99X came back, it didn't necessarily mean anything to me. I didn't yeah. know. Sure. And I know corporate radio... I know radio, and if it does one thing, it wants to duplicate success. And mm-hmm. if there are other 101X or whatever, I don't know. But from the very beginning, when this started, you guys came on and said, look, it's not just us. It's not just about us. It's about you, the listener. Mm-hmm. I had never heard that before. I was not familiar with that. I was just familiar with listen to us and whatever. You're not part of this. It's us. We're the stars. If there's anything that people are tired of now, it's cynical nonsense. Cynical corporate nonsense is even worse, and it's easy to want to bite the corporate hand that feeds. I get that. But 99X has never been anything like that. And I could tell it from the very beginning. So that's why I appreciate it. I didn't know who Barnes and Leslie were back then. I do now. But we're sorry for that. When, we're, we're sorry for that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, <laughs> at this point, when local radio is, you read it anywhere, local radio is dead. That's gone. You have shown why it is still 
It's so important to have local radio and have good local radio. And who wouldn't want to be a part of that? I couldn't more, right? And I would just, I would say it, it's like I said, the, the people who work at radio stations, program directors, DJs, hosts, the rest, that's that's not who I was centering in this criticism at all. And And I don't, like, I think it's wonderful that radio stations are coming back and I know you guys aren't the only one like Live yeah. 105 recently right sure yeah like, mm-hmm. um, it was systems that made radio radio stations go away you know what I mean it, the, the, the same ones that I was I was critiquing I can see how it felt personal but I was really just making a joke about the larger system music industry you know monolith stuff and mm-hmm. not people who work at radio stations who are trying to do this thing because they 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 care about rock max hold that thought th- that's a that's a great thing you're saying that I, we do have to take a break caller thank you what's your name by the way david david and where are you calling from i'm calling from dallas georgia nice we, we appreciate you listening this time around thank you for calling in have a great day you too thanks all right bye-bye uh, more fans want to talk to you max we have to take a quick break we'll be back with max from eve six Good morning, Max. With Barnes and Leslie. 99X.